um, to be able to get these releases that are required because in June, I think about 300 million will have to be released and then in also in December and um, next year. And then we have the World Bank DPO. Um, so those become uh, resources that we can't compromise. And so if anything at all, um, that um, would, um, would really create a necessary discipline um, to make sure that we do that. Um, and then um, we also would have um, negotiated uh, with the IPPs and also uh, with the Eurobond investors. And we have the DDEP program in place. Uh, and these are things that you cannot miss or default on. Um, I think so all of those will really restrain uh, any other expenditure that we might have you know, gotten into. We look at the Zambian experience and some are worried about the timelines here, especially with the external creditors, the bilaterals and the eurobond as well. Mm -hmm. Looking at the timelines that you have, right. November ended, are you sure that you'll be able to reach this MOU? And this commitment from these partners before we go to the board to get this next joint release. Um, I mean, George, we have to, and um, I mean, you've seen us move from um, July 2022 to where we are, um, which a good number of people uh, were betting that it would be impossible to get to where we are today, and we are here, and I think that's a testament um, to government's commitment to make it happen. Uh, we did get the financing assurances, I had to go to China, etc. Whatever is required to do, we will do. Uh, I'm confident um, that um, um, the OCC will come through uh, in time for, for the board, executive board approval in November. Mm -hmm.